to our main story tonight now and what happened at Port Kerry Leisure Park is a powerful reminder of the constant threat of erosion around our coastline. Jenny Reese has been finding out more about why events like this happen. Every year, the Welsh Coast Council is centimetres as nature nibbles away at the land mass. Here in Port Kerry, the landslide was more substantial. So we think we've lost two to three metres of the cliff top uh, along about a 120 metre section and that translates to about 15,000 cubic metres of rock or 34,000 tonnes. These, these interbeds are beds of a very, very fine grained material that's quite soft and that's the dark layers. And then the, the lighter layers are much, much harder, they're limestones. So uh, what we're looking at is a section of, of, of very old rock, 200 million year old rock that is, uh, is, is part of a formation called the Blue Lias. And this is very famous across Britain because it's, it's famous for, for fossils. So especially down in the, in the region of Dorset and Lyme Regis, you often get some very, very impressive fossils. And especially even locally, we get, we get a number of impressive fossils. And so what, what's characteristic, what makes it good for fossils is the fact that it, it's soft and it kind of erodes away very, very easily. Um, so that also means that it, it makes it sort of susceptible to these, these big landslides. Dramatic as the collapse at Fort Kerry was, it doesn't rival what once happened in Pembrokeshire. 50 metres of coastline was ripped away from Cymmoreglwys during a storm in 1859.